Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Dawn. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and you will be informed of when I have some upcoming videos. And I do have some things scheduled for this week. I'm going to be posting a review of my Louis Vuitton Diane bag sometime in the coming weeks. So a lot of people are curious about that bag. Hit the notification bell and you will know when I post it. But today is all about a bag that I really don't have much information on. I couldn't find very many videos of this on YouTube. I think there may have been two tops, but I was looking at offers through my bank and I always check because a lot of times there's monthly offers on your credit cards, one of your bank cards or whatnot, where you could get either a hundred off of $500 or percent back or, you know, something of the like. And this past month in March, I had 10% back off of guilt.com. And I haven't shopped on guilt before now. I've heard of them and I've looked through their website, but I never bought anything. But as I was browsing through the website, I came across this bag and I thought for the price with the cash back, it was just adorable and something really different. And most specifically, I don't have anything in this color, believe it or not, because it's one of my absolute favorites. And I think that I personally think that everybody needs this color in their wardrobe because it's just so classic and such a stable. Staple, excuse me, not a stable. Stables are where horses are kept, but yeah, a staple is something that you need. Anyway, without further ado, I purchased this Longchamp Rousseau extra small shoulder bag. And I don't remember what color this is. I don't remember if they called this natural, if they called it caramel. I've seen it called different things and it is available on the Longchamp website, but it was much, much cheaper on guilt. It was $360 on longchamp.com. Same price sack, same price at Bloomingdale's. It's pretty much the same price everywhere. Um, even Joma Shop, I don't think had much of a discount. And I do think that they had a couple of these bags offered, but it was marked down to almost a hundred dollars cheaper on guilt. And then I had the coupon and this is a current season bag and a current season color. So it's made out of grain cowhide. And let me bring this in. You could see the texture. It's a slightly different texture than what's on the boxy pink Longchamp that I just showed. And you can see that this is a really structured bag. They call this a shoulder bag, but unless you're six years old, it's really not good. I mean, I could get it over my shoulder, but who in their right mind wants to walk around that close? I mean, it's really, there's no drop whatsoever. I think the drop on this is something like seven inches. So here's my hand. My hand is about six inches long. You can see that the drop is not much more than my hand. But it's perfect for handheld, for crook of the arm. I mean, it works absolutely fine. And it's a lightweight bag for being made of leather. So you have the grain calf skin. And then in the back, you could see the stitching of where the inside pocket is stitched. And you have this beautiful silver tone bamboo closure. And... It fits through the loop. When I showed this bag to Winnie B. LV, she said that it reminded her a lot of Gucci. And it really does. It's very, very Gucci-esque because of the bamboo. So let me open it up and I'll show the inside. And this is really heavy. So you can see that the bag is really structured because when you drop that down, it's not pulling anything out of shape. But back to the inside. So it's a microfiber type lining. And then there's a calfskin patch pocket here. And it has the Longchamp logo. Bring that in a little bit closer. Really tough to see because, you know, it's the inside of the bag and everything. But it's just basically one big space. I like the fact that this is a light colored interior because you can find things very easily. So now let me show you what fits. I've been using the bag. I used it quite a few times. 
I use it today. I only went to the grocery store, but still, I needed to have a bag, obviously, to pay for things, store my keys, whatnot, whatnot. <clears throat> Excuse me, especially now that the weather's starting to get, well, let me just say today is sunny. It hasn't really been very spring-like here, but now that you're going to be coming up to times where you're not wearing a coat, you definitely want something small that you could just grab and go and not be too fussy over. So without further ado, I have my Chanel Zippy wallet, Zippy card holder that goes in. And I have this little coach corner zip, which I'm using as catch-all. And I have hand cream. I have a lipstick. I'll show you. There's hand cream. There's a lipstick. Um, some lens wipes for my glasses. And that's about all. So I'm going to put that in. that in here and here's what it looks like right now so let's go on I had a hand sanitizer which sometimes I put my catch-all but that catch-all is kind of narrow so the hand sanitizer is in and you could see that I'm gonna put my tissue pack and I'm going to put that in the little flat compartment here. Just because I don't like to have the tissues get broken up. So put that in the pocket. And I'm going to put my keys. Because once I get done driving, I need to stash away my keys. And I'm going to put my phone. I'm using my phone to film, but here's my phone case. And that's going in. And... Everything fits in there just fine. And if you had sunglasses, you can lay sunglasses on the top. Let me take my glasses off and I'll show you with my glasses. So let's pretend that these were cute sunnies, which they're not. So yeah. So I'm going to just close it up now. And I'll show you what it looks like. Closed. So here you go and everything fits just fine and I love it. I mean, it's really adorable and I call it camel. I mean, I think the color is just absolutely beautiful and it's something that you can wear all year round. You can't go wrong with something in that natural color and it's such a nice neutral. I mean, I'm wearing a purple blouse today. Well, purple tunic actually, tunic t-shirt. And the color I think looks just fantastic with it. It's just neutral enough that you're not, you know, in head to toe brights, which I have some bright jewelry. And I think that the neutral bag really just kind of sets it off nicely. All of your attention isn't going straight to the bag. So, yeah, so that's my little Rousseau. Again, I haven't seen too much on it. It comes in a bunch of colors and it comes in other sizes. There's a medium size and a large, which are significantly bigger and obviously the medium is going to be a lot better if you do want to carry it over your shoulder but I personally I mean I like handheld bags or crook of the arm I don't need to have it over my shoulder um if I need to get it out of the way for a second I could just throw it over my arm and I'm fine but you know for short trips it's great maybe if I was going somewhere for the day and I needed to be hands-free I would take a bag that has a crossbody, but for just everyday things, running a little errand, this works for me just, just fine. So if you have any questions, leave them in the box below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.